This is Russia's destructive siege of the last remaining Ukrainian resistance in Mariupol. Under the smoldering ruins of the Azovstal steel plant are 200 civilians believed to be trapped underground with Ukrainian soldiers. Officials in Kyiv say they are making a new attempt to get them out with the help from the UN. Currently, Russian shelling and the assault on Azovstal has not stopped, but civilians still need to be taken out, women, children, many children who are still there. Just imagine this hell. More than two months of constant shelling, bombing, constant death nearby. We expect an effective regime of silence, but we are doing everything to find a solution and to save our military. Russian tanks are not far away. Their allied separatist fighters patrol the streets. This fighter thinks victory in Azovstal is near. Everything is fine. We are working. We are fighting. Sometimes. We're not far. Just a little left. Step by step. In Moscow, soldiers are preparing for Monday's parade to mark victory against Nazi Germany during the Second World War. But in the war in Ukraine, President Vladimir Putin doesn't have much to celebrate. The war has isolated his nation and united its foes. No punishment or sanctions can break the will of our people, of the Russian leadership, aimed at defending the historical truth, the legitimate interests of the Russian Federation, and preventing direct threats to our security being created on our borders threats to our culture, our history. All this is currently at stake. With Russian troops not preparing to take a full control of Mariupol, it's not clear when or how this war will come to an end. Priyanka Gupta, Al Jazeera.